Um, well, all I can say is that when you are, um, first of all, I'm in a very, very deep and committed relationship. And obviously my wife is younger than I am, but I didn't marry an age. I married somebody I fell completely in love with at a time when I didn't expect to. And um, when you are in love uh, with somebody, the expression of that love um, is, naturally leads to a discussion about, in, in our case, uh, about a child. It's a bittersweet experience for me, of course, because I'm very much more aware of time um, at this stage of my, of my life. But That's the bitter bit, is it? I mean, I'm not being smart. Is that no, what you that mean is, by that? Yes. Because, um, but at the same time, our relationship to time, all of us have a relationship yes, to time. Yes, of course. And um, it is multifaceted and extremely complex and conflicted. There's not one person in this room tonight who could raise their hand and say, I'll be here tomorrow. Nobody can say that. Uh, what we must do is live in the moment. Yeah. Uh, when you bring a child into the world, you bring a child in with love. And w what you try to do as a parent is love them. Nobody gives you time and says, you're going to see this to the end of, you know, particular. So having said that, um, it is bittersweet. Um, but when you are surrounded by pure love, mm. uh, pure joy, pure innocence, it's hard not to be deeply, deeply moved um, at, um, at a very profound level. Um, and, you know, you can give a child of a year a shoelace to play with, <laughs> and they'll play with it for 10, 10, 15 minutes. And you wonder when you look at that, you wonder when we lose our sense of wonder yes. about the most ordinary things, and yes. we take so much for granted. Yeah. But a child reorientates you to the world around you, mm. to realise how vital and precious every moment and every day yes. is. Yes.